Okay, movie mode is... Let's start this. Go ahead and turn to your neighbor. What would you do to isolate A? Go ahead and talk real fast. Five, four, three, two, one. Miles, what would you do to isolate A? Like, You're right. How do I make A all alone? One and one third uh, minus one and one third. Right now, a sign change. A sign change? Yeah. Well, let's rehuddle again. Go ahead and talk again. What should we do instead? <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, Miles, let's recorrect. What should we do? Right now. How about we do the inverse of subtraction? Is that what you meant by? Yeah. Okay. The opposite of subtraction is? Addition. 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 So I'm going to add one and one third. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. I'm going to add one and one third on this side of the equal sign. And since it's a seesaw, I'm going to have to add one and one third over here. Okay? All right, so hopefully we got you cleared up on the vocabulary. What I meant by isolating is I want that A all alone. This A is all by itself now. If you want to see how, here's what the math looks like. The original question is A minus 1 and 1 third, and then we added this 1 and 1 third. If you look carefully what I'm going to highlight in green, right in there, this is a zero pair. I can change signs on subtraction becoming addition and the next term becoming its opposite. This is a number adding to its opposite, which always equals zero. So here's what we have on one side of the equal, a plus zero. We have successfully isolated the a. It is by itself. Because a plus zero is simply a. If I come back now to the other side of the equal, here's my new math problem. 2 and 1 6 plus 1 and 1 third. This is a review of way back to the first trimester. Okay? So what I'm going to do is add my whole numbers. My whole numbers are 1 and 2. 1 plus 2 is 3. 1 6 plus 1 third cannot be added simply by evaluating the numerators and denominators. Turn and talk to neighbor what I do next. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Um, Marguerite, would you tell me? Marguerite, what do I do here? The common denominator are six and three. What does six and three both change to? Sixes. One six is already a six. But for me to change one third to a six, I'm going to multiply by numerator and denominator by two. One third is now in disguise. It is it's the same as two fifths. Okay? And now I can evaluate my fractions because they have common denominators. I don't say six plus six is six. I evaluate the numerators only. That is three six. A is three and three six. And because we want all answers in simplest form, A can be written as 3 and 1 half. And I'm trying to end my movie. So let me find where the movie box is.